we finally made it to December 2020. I'm grateful to be alive and healthy despite my weak struggle with my resolutions I made for the year. I'll continue to work on this but since Christmas is already around the corner and Corona is still outside, we definitely have more pressing issues to address. Which is how to be a proper house guest aka visitor while observing the holidays. So unless you'd like to be treated like this... Hey mama, I said hi. Please watch this video. As someone who does more visiting than receiving visitors, I consider myself an authority on this subject. One thing I'll tell you right off the bat, when a host tells you to make yourself comfortable, they actually mean the opposite. You get comfortable, all right? You! You say get comfortable. It's an expression. Comfort sometimes goes along with free will, and trust me, nobody's going to be okay with you expressing 100% of your free will in their own house. Although the type and extent of relationship between the host and the guest matters, in order to get comments like, hmm, so nice, let's do this again, and they mean it, here are a few things you should consider doing while you are out visiting. Number one, call before you show up. Unless you're that rich uncle or aunt everyone loves, please consider not surprising anybody. Give people the opportunity to make themselves available and prepare for you. you Just call. Don't play yourself. Number two, pay attention to observe the house rules. It could be shoes off at the door, where to sit, sometimes even what to talk about. Follow cues and don't go assuming the way your house is run is how you expect them to run theirs. Especially when it comes to taking your leave. You see me look at the time and gesture to the door like five times now. Come on, be going. Sir, we have to get going. What? We have to get going, sir. I don't want to go. I know, we have a lot of fun. You're the president of the United States. Let's go. And number three, stop remaining food to prove they are not that hungry or poor. My friend Jesus reminded me how annoying this can be the other day. We like to form like we didn't come for the food when we go visiting and start forming distracted when the host starts setting the table. But why will you leave like three pieces of change in your plate just so you don't look like a glutton? Some will leave so much food remnants in their plates as if the food was trash. The worst ones will dump that plate in the sink as is without clearing it in the trash first. The least you can do is not create more mess for them as you leave. When you use the toilet, you don't come out till you flush it all down. And it better not smell. I don't know how you're going to do that one, but if you can't make sure of it, don't do number two. Another one for me is for when you bring along kids. As long as they came with you, you will be responsible for their conduct and their actions. I know some kids have high tendency to disgrace, but don't watch them break my remote and tell me that's how they used to do. Please make them behave or else. Finally, I think the most important thing for the time is to not visit anywhere without a face mask and carefully observe any health protocols your host engages in. If you're sick, stay at home. Maybe it's just the flu, but we don't want to be guessing whether the sound of your cough has a hint of corona inside. <laughs> It's better safe than sorry. This is one of the important ways we make sure that we are healthy all through the holidays. If you think you're a solid guest and you find yourself visiting unbearable host, then stay tuned to my channel. In my next video, I'll be talking about how to be a proper host and you can share it with them. Until then, thanks for watching this video as always. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel for more content. See you on the next one.